Hello everyone, my name is Farhata Pamila. I am a master's student at Indonesian International Islamic University. In this video, I would like to share you about the action research. Have you ever heard about the action research? Or what's coming to your mind when you heard about the action research? Well, basically, action research is a systematic inquiry conducted by teachers, principals, school counselors, or other stakeholders with a vested interest in the teaching and learning environment for the purpose of gathering information about how their school operates, how they teach, and how their students learn. This action research allows teachers to study their own classroom, for example, their instructional methods, their student, or their assessment, to better understand them and to improve the quality or the effectiveness. The purpose of action research is to provide teachers with methods for solving everyday problems in schools so that they may improve both student learning and teaching effectiveness. Now we already know about the action research and the purpose of action research, so the next question will be how to conduct an action research. If you want to conduct the action research, there are four stages that we have to do. The first one is planning stage, the second one is acting stage, the third one is developing stage, and the last one is reflecting stage. So the first one is planning stage. In this stage, the teachers have to identify and limiting the topic of study, gathering some information, and reviewing related researchers. The second one is acting stage. In this stage, the teacher will be collecting and analyzing the data. Moving to the next stage, which is the flopping stage, once the data are collected and analyzed, the next step is developing an action plan. The action plan is like the strategy for practical implementation of action research. The last one is the reflecting stage. So in this stage, the teacher will share and communicate the result and reflect the whole process of action research. Remember that one of the most important aspects of action research is the cyclical process, meaning that after finishing the last step, the teacher may repeat the cyclical process until they get expected improvement. So this is the end of my video. Hopefully it can give you insights before you want to conduct the action research. And bye-bye!